So the app that I use for free music is called Songza, and this is available for any iOS device as well as Blackberries, Android devices, and even available on your computer. And when you first open up the app, you're going to need to create a free account, and you can do this through Facebook or via your email. And once you've done that, you'll be taken to the concierge section here, which you can see allows me to look at things that are based around what I'm doing, what time of day it is, and basically what people would be doing during those times. So. Just to recap here, this is a fully free music streaming site, so it's not going to be something where you would download your music and have it on your iTunes account or anything like that, although it does give you a feature here. If you enjoy the music, you can purchase it. So main page here, we're on the concierge section, and you can see that it's got a couple of categories here. And let's say I was working out this morning, I would tap workout. Now you've got some specific categories of music that people tend to listen to when they're working out. So we'll go ahead and we'll click electronic, and I'll just click the top one here. I'm going to pause it just for copyright issues and you can see that you've got the cover of the song and uh, basically what you can do with the little features at the bottom is pause and play. You have the skip forward to the next song here and we'll just do that so you can see that it does skip over. You also have an airplay feature as well as a thumbs up and thumbs down. Now these are pretty important because if you do enjoy the music, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And if you don't, hit the thumbs down. That way it helps the app target what's specific to you. So if you hit the thumbs up, it's going to find more songs and more playlists that are based around what you like. And that way when you go to the morning and you go to your workout, you're going to have more music that's based around you. Now on the right side here, you've got your social sharing so you can share it to Facebook and Twitter. And then you've also got a little purchasing section here. Um, if it is available on iTunes, you can go ahead and purchase the song if you want to. So that's basically that section here. Now this gets into a little bit more detail when you go into the different sections here. We'll jump into my playlists where you can see what you've searched for and you can also save your favorite playlist. So I've just saved a couple of them right there. And in the popular section, you can see what's popular, what's featured, what's trending, and what's been popular all time. And uh, it's really cool because then you can see what other people are listening to and get a feel of what is hot, I guess, with different playlists at different times. So that's the popular section. In the explore section, this is where things get really cool for me. What you can do here is basically choose playlists based around situations. So if you're doing activities, we can jump into activities. Let's say you're just barbecuing and you want to listen to music. So classic barbecue music, it's got some playlists here. And as I said before, these are expertly created playlists and uh, it just helps to make the music a lot better. So again, uh, essential reggae, you can listen to it. You've got a couple of similar playlists at the bottom. You can favorite the playlist if you like it and you can play it at the top. And again, let's just go back to the explore section. You've got genres. This is basic. So if you're into classical vocal, country, dance, pop, hip hop, whatever, you can find it in this section and just listen to playlists that way. Now it even has moods, which is pretty interesting. Like let's say there was one I saw just the other day. It said breakup, I think it said, or something like that. Anyway, there's different types of moods here that you can go through, mellow, raw, rowdy, sad, and uh, it'll put together playlists. There it is, pop breakup, and you can listen to that music based around that. So basically this site allows you to really get more in depth of music, and you don't really have to search out the artist, you don't have to search out the specific song, it's going to find playlists based around what you like. And I just want to recap on a couple of things here. Um, basically, this music is streamed. It's not going to be something you can download. This is music that's going to use your data or your Wi-Fi service, so you just need to be aware of that. And uh, it is fully legal. There's going to be no repercussions for you listening to this type of music. And if you are interested in something that is a pay-for membership, there's Spotify and Pandora. Those are the three that I basically look to. This one is the one I use, but Spotify a lot of people use as well as Pandora. And again, there is no audio ads to disrupt your music. You can play this on the road. You can play this at home. And uh, I really like the concierge feature here at the beginning. It just gives you uh, basically what's going on with your day. I'm just going to move to Saturday. We'll go Saturday at night. And you can see that it will change from the morning types of music. And it actually changed the background. So now driving, putting your party dress on, uh, eating dinner, love, romance. And you really get into different types of playlists. So hopefully this helps you guys. I know a lot of you wanted to get some free music on your iOS devices as well as your other mobile devices. And this is the best way. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm losing my voice here. Subscribe, uh, hit the like button, it helps me out, and I will see you guys in the next one.